So after months and months of development, we finally released our Civic Type R intercooler and piping kit. We thoroughly tested on the dyno, the street, and the track. So now we'll look back over those months and months of development on what we found out, what we figured out, and how to accomplish getting this biggest, baddest intercooler that's direct fit under this bumper. As we developed our track-inspired intake, we had the foresight to use this track time to collect temperature data and heat measurements on the OEM intercooling system. One thing we noticed was how hard the factory intercooler had to work to keep the compressed air temps in check. After a couple hard laps, it was evident the factory intercooler could not keep up. So here's an on-track breakdown of what's happening. This is your Civic Type R. This is the air inlet for your intercooler. Here is your K20 C1 engine and OEM intercooler. A couple things start to happen when you put a long duration of steady load on your car. For one, the intercooler starts to heat up as it tries to keep the compressed air from the turbocharger in check. Over the duration, the incoming airflow transfers this rejected intercooler heat directly into your radiator. We've seen on-track temps as high as 290 degrees on the inlet and 140 on the outlet. Once we left the track with this newfound knowledge, we got right to work. We wanted to design an intercooler as awesome as the car itself. The goal was to maximize the space provided and fit the biggest core we could. We also wanted to retain all crash safety components and make this intercooler direct fit. What we actually found at the track and all the data we looked at is there's a ton of heat in the car and we're trying to isolate it with our intake, our box, and what we're going to address with our intercooler and piping system. So we're taking the platform that's really awesome to begin with we found some shortcomings and we're going to solve the problem. This is our thought process in solving those issues. So we're already on the drawing board, parts are in production. It had to be easy to install and the core measured almost five inches thick and has huge casted end tanks. Fitting a core the size and the space provided was a challenge. So we engineered a unique mounting solution that cuts down the install time. The alignment pin bolt allows installation without removing the crash beam or the headlights. We made good use of the lower grill opening and designed a unique coupler and piping kit that is perfect for everyday driving or the hardcore track enthusiast. You also have color options on the intercooler, silver or black. And the piping comes in wrinkle black or rally red. So today we are installing our upgraded intercooler for our Civic Type R. Factory unit, pretty small, got weird inlets and outlets, doesn't flow very good. Ours comes with a piping kit, flows way better. It's really beefy, it's about the biggest thing you can get inside this vehicle. Comes with really cool hardware, so it's super easy to install. Even comes with the tool to get your bumper off. So we're testing our car, our CTR is on the dyno, and we're getting some intercooler data. So we have our two samples in. We got one on the car that we're testing, Put it all back to stock, so we're testing it stock intake with our inner core and our piping kit. That's going to be how it comes. Factory testing's done. So this little thing's off. This is one of our other cores that we uh, will be testing. So we have our silver core on here now. This is our black core. And factory piping's off. We have our black piping on the car now. We're going to offer this in red too. So this is the upper pipe and then we have another pipe down the bottom. So this will come with the intercooler itself, much bigger, flows better. And you can see the size difference between the two, so way better cooling. We sampled two final designs, and with the intercooler and piping kit as the only modification, we netted 10 horsepower and 10 foot-pounds of torque. This was on the stock tune and at stock boost levels. We cover every angle when it comes to our testing procedures, so we back up our hard data with thermal imaging. As you can see, the stock unit is completely overrun with heat, while our barn plate design does a much better job. The heat signature never makes it fully across the core.
While track temps were higher due to the extreme abuse we put the car under, our dyno temps are consistent. As you can see, we have a decrease in outlet temps of 50 degrees between the stock unit and the Mishimoto unit. Our unit kept outlet temps close to ambient, even after a 12 second dyno test. So to sum up, we set out to give you the biggest, the best flowing, direct fit intercooler for your Type R. It was thoroughly tested in the heat of the summer, at the track, and all through a harsh winter. So that's our conclusion of all our development. Click the link in the description on how to get yours.